important text practice exam for fluids, electrolytes and homeostasis too. Question 1. The net diffusion of water from one solution of water from one solution through a semipermeable membrane to another solution containing a lower concentration of water is termed A. Filtration B. Diffusion C. Osmosis D. Brownian motion Answer, C. Osmosis. Osmosis is defined as the diffusion of water through a semipermeable membrane to a solution with a lower concentration of water. Filtration is the process in which fluids are pushed through biologic membranes by unequal processes. Diffusion Brownian motion is the random kinetic motion causing atoms and molecules to spread out evenly. Question 2. When assessing a patient's total body water percentage, the nurse is aware that all of the following factors influence this except A. Age B. Fat tissue C. Muscle mass D. Gender Answer, D. Gender a patient's gender does not influence the percentage of total body water. Question 3. Orly Khan is suffering from fluid volume deficit FVD. Which of the following symptoms would the nurse expect to assess in the patient? A. Rails. B. Bounding pulse. C. Tachycardia. D. Bulging neck veins. Answer, C. Tachycardia. Tachycardia, poor tissue turgor, and hypotension are symptoms of FVD. Other choices are symptoms of FVE. Question 4. John Reed is admitted in the hospital and is currently receiving hypertonic fluids. Nursing management for the client includes monitoring for all of the following potential complications except A. Water intoxication. B. Fluid volume excess FVE. C. Cellular dehydration. D. Cell shrinkage. Answer. A. Water intoxication. Water intoxication is a potential complication associated with hypotonic fluid administration. Other choice are potential complication of hypertonic fluid administration. Question 5. Mr. Alberto is scheduled to receive an isotonic solution, which one of the following is an example of such solution? A. D10% W. B. 0.45% saline. C. 0.9% saline. D. 3% normal saline W. Answer, C. A solution of 0.9% saline is isotonic. Question 6. Which of the following arterial blood gas ABG values indicates uncompensated metabolic alkalosis? A. PH 7.48, PECO 242, PICO 330. B. PH 7.48, PECO 246, PICO 330. C. PH 7.48, PECO 234, PICO 320. D. PH 7.48, PECO 234, PICO 326. Answer, A. PH 7.48, PECO 242, PICO 330. Question 7. The body's compensation of metabolic alkalosis involves A. Increasing the respiratory rate. B. Decreasing the respiratory rate. 
C. Increasing urine output. D. Decreasing urine output. Answer, B. Decreasing the respiratory rate. The body attempts to compensate for metabolic alkalosis by decreasing the respiratory rate and conserving carbon dioxide and asked. Your and volume does not influence acid-base balance. Question 8. When assessing a patient for metabolic alkalosis, the nurse would expect to find A. Low serum potassium B. Changes in urine output. C. Hypotension. D. Increased CVP. Answer A. Low serum potassium. Decreased serum potassium is a common symptom of metabolic alkalosis. Question 9. Which of the following blood products should be infused rapidly? A. Packed red blood cells PRBC B. Fresh frozen plasma FFP C. Platelets D. Dextran Answer, C. Platelets Platelets and cryoprecipitate can be infused quickly. PRBC and FFP should be administered over one and one half to four hours. Dextran is not a blood product. Question 10. Which of the following statements provides the rationale for using a hypotonic solution for a patient with FVD? A. A hypotonic solution provides free water to help the kidneys eliminate the solute. B. A hypotonic solution supplies an excess of sodium and chloride ions. C. Excessive volumes are recommended in the early postoperative period. D. A hypotonic solution is used to treat hyponatremia. Answer, A. A hypotonic solution provides free water to help the kidneys eliminate the solute. Hypotonic solutions provide free water, which helps the kidneys eliminate solute. Question 11. Brad is receiving a blood transfusion. When monitoring the patient, the nurse would analyze an elevated body temperature as indicating A. A normal physiologic process B. Evidence of sepsis C. A possible transfusion reaction. D. Unexpected response to the transfusion. Answer, C. A possible transfusion reaction. An increase in the body temperature indicates a possible transfusion reaction and requires immediate discontinuation of the infusion. Question 12. The process of endocrine regulation of electrolytes involves A. Sodium reabsorption and chloride excretion B. Chloride reabsorption and sodium excretion C. Potassium reabsorption and sodium excretion D. Sodium reabsorption and potassium excretion Answer, D. Sodium reabsorption and potassium excretion. Act stimulates release of aldosterone, which in turn acts on the tubules to reabsorb sodium. When this occurs, the cation potassium is excreted. Question 13. The chief anion in the intracellular fluid ICF is A. Phosphorus B. Potassium C. Sodium D. Chloride Answer, A. Phosphorus. Phosphorus is the major ICF cation. Potassium and sodium are cations. 
Chloride is the chief anion found in the ECF. Question 14. The major cation in the ICF is A. Potassium B. Sodium C. Phosphorus D. Magnesium Answer, A. Potassium. Potassium is the major ICF cation. Sodium is the major ECF cation. Phosphorus is the major ICF anion. Magnesium is the second most abundant cation in the ICF. Question 15. Hypophosphate mea may result from which of the following diseases? A. Liver cirrhosis. B. Renal failure. C. Paget's disease. D. Alcoholism. Answer, D. Alcoholism. Hypophosphatemia may occur secondary to alcoholism. Renal failure is usually associated with hyperphosphatemia. Question 16. A patient with which of the following disorders is at high risk for developing hyperphosphatemia? A. Hyperkalemia B. Hyponatremia C. Hypocalcemia D. Hyperglycemia Answer, C. Hypocalcemia because calcium and phosphorus ratios are inversely proportional, when phosphorus levels are high, calcium levels are low. Question 17. Normal calcium levels must be analyzed in relation to A. Sodium B. Glucose C. Protein D. Fats Answer, C. Protein. Some calcium is bound to protein, so abnormal calcium levels are analyzed in relation to proteins. Question 18. Calcium is absorbed in the GI tract under the influence of A. Vitamin D B. Glucose C. HCL D. Vitamin C Answer, A. Vitamin D. Calcium is absorbed in the GI tract under the influence of vitamin D in its biologically active form. Question 19. Which of the following diagnosis is most appropriate for a patient with hypocalcemia? A. Constipation, bowel. B. High risk for injury, bleeding. C. Airway clearance, ineffective. D. High risk for injury, confusion. Answer. B. High risk for injury, bleeding. A patient with hypocalcemia may bleed, since calcium is required for normal blood clotting. A and D are diagnoses appropriate for a patient with hypercalcemia. C is not associated with fluctuating calcium levels. Question 20. When serum calcium levels rise, which of the following hormones is secreted? A. Aldosterone. B. Renin. C. Parathyroid hormone. D. Calcitonin. Answer, D. Calcitonin. When calcium levels rise, calcitonin is secreted from the thyroid, this hormone moves calcium from plasma into bone. Parathyroid hormone is secreted in response to lowered calcium levels, this hormone moves calcium from bone into plasma. Question 21. The presence of which of the following electrolytes contributes to acidosis? 
A. Sodium B. Potassium C. Hydrogen D. Chloride Answer C. Hydrogen The presence of hydrogen ions determines the solution's acidity. Question 22. The lungs participate in acid-base balance by A. Reabsorbing bicarbonate B. Splitting carbonic acid in two C. Using CO2 to regulate hydrogen ions D. Sending hydrogen ions to the renal tubules Answer, C. Using CO2 to regulate hydrogen ions. The lungs use carbon dioxide to regulate hydrogen ion concentration. Question 23. The respiratory system regulates acid-base balance by A. Increasing mucus production. B. Changing the rate and depth of respirations. C. Forming bicarbonate. D. Reabsorbing bicarbonate. Answer, B. Changing the rate and depth of respirations. Through changes in the rate and depth of respirations, acid-base balance is achieved via CO2 elimination and retention. Mucus production is not part of the pulmonary regulatory system. C and D are responses that refer to ways in which kidneys balance acids and bases. Question 24. Which of the following is the gas component of the ABG measurement? A. Carbon dioxide B. Bicarbonate C. Hydrogen D. pH Answer, A. Carbon dioxide. The gases measured by ABGs are oxygen and carbon dioxide. Bicarbonate and hydrogen are ions, the ratio is measured in the pH. Question 25. Chloride helps maintain acid-base balance by performing which of the following roles? A. Participating in the chloride shift. B. Following sodium to maintain serum osmolarity. C. Maintaining the balance of cations in the IC from ECF. D. Separating carbonic acid. Answer. A. Participating in the chloride shift. To maintain acid base balance, chloride shifts into and out of red blood cells in exchange for bicarbonate. Question 26. Which of the following hormones helps regulate chloride reabsorption? A. Antidiuretic hormone. B. Renin. C. Estrogen. D. Aldosterone. Answer. D. Aldosterone. Chloride reabsorption depends on sodium reabsorption, which is regulated by aldosterone in the distal tubule and collecting ducts. Question 27. Chloride is absorbed in the A. Stomach B. Bowel C. Liver D. Kidney Answer, B. Bowel. Chloride is absorbed in the bowel, mainly the duodenum and jejunum. Question 28. When chloride concentration drops below 95 mcl, reabsorption of which of the following electrolytes increases proportionally? A. Hydrogen. B. Potassium. C. Sodium. D. Bicarbonate.
Answer, D. Bicarbonate. When chloride concentrations drop below 95 mHg, bicarbonate reabsorption increases proportionally, causing metabolic alkalosis. Other choices are cations. Chloride is an anion, a cation must always exchange for a cation in order to maintain electrical neutrality. Question 29. Jonas is admitted with 1000 milliliters of diarrhea per day for the last three days. And 4 of 0.45% NaCl mixed with 5% dextrose is infusing. Which of the following nursing interventions is the most appropriate? A. Get an infusion controller from Central Supply. B. Mix all antibiotics and 0.45% NaCl with 5% dextrose. C. Check the patient's potassium level and contact the doctor for four additive orders. D. Assess the patient for signs of hyperkalemia. Answer, C. Check the patient's potassium level and contact the doctor for four additive orders. Potassium is lost via the GI and renal systems. Prolonged or excessive diarrhea can lead to hypokalemia. In the event of hypokalemia, a potassium additive would likely be prescribed. Question 30. Mrs. Waltraud is receiving digoxin and lozix daily. Today, she complains of nausea, and her apical pulse is 130 and irregular. Which of the following nursing interventions is the most appropriate? A. Hold the digoxin and check the patient's potassium level. B. Remove the orange juice from the patient's tray. C. Identify the patient as high risk for hyperkalemia. D. Assess the patient for other signs of hyponatremia. Answer, A. Hold the digoxin and check the patient's potassium level. Patient experiencing hypokalemia are at risk for digitalis toxicity. Nausea and irregular pulse are signs digitalis toxicity. Question 31. The type of fluid used to manipulate fluid shifts among compartment states is A. Whole blood B. TPN C. Albumin D. Ensure. Answer, C. Albumin. Albumin is a colloid that is used to manipulate fluid shifts among compartments. Whole blood is used to replace blood volume. TPN is used for patients who are unable to take in food or fluid. Ensure is high caloric nutritional supplement. It is not used to manipulate fluid shifts. Question 32. Mr. Miyazaki who is diagnosed of bipolar disorder has been drinking copious amounts of water and voiding frequently. The patient is experiencing muscle cramps, twitching, and is reporting dizziness. The nurse checks lab work for A. Complete blood count results, particularly the platelets. B. Electrolytes particularly the serum sodium. C. Urine analysis, particularly for the presence of white blood cells. D. Eeg results. Answer, B. Electrolytes, particularly the serum sodium. The patient is exhibiting behavior that could lead to a sodium and water imbalance and is exhibiting signs of hyponatremia. The nurse would check the electrolytes with attention to the sodium level. Question 33. When teaching a patient about foods high in magnesium, the nurse would include A. Green vegetables B. Butter C. Cheese D tomatoes. Answer, A. Green vegetables.
Green vegetables are high in magnesium. Question 34. The balance of anions and cations as it occurs across cell membranes is known as A. Osmotic activity B. Electrical neutrality C. Electrical stability D. Sodium-potassium pump Answer, B. Electrical neutrality. Electrical neutrality refers to a state in which the same number of positively charged ions and negatively charged ions are present on either side of the membrane. Osmotic activity refers to the attraction of a solute to a solvent. Sodium-potassium pump refers to the exchange of electrolytes. Question 35, Maria, an 85-year-old patient with a feeding tube has been experiencing severe watery stool. The patient is lethargic and has poor skin turgor, a pulse of 120, and hyperactive reflexes. Nursing interventions would include a. Measuring and recording intake and output and daily weights b. Administering salt tablets and monitoring hypertonic parenteral solutions c. Administering sedatives d. Applying wrist restraints to avoid displacement of the feeding tube. Answer A. Measuring and recording intake and output and daily weights. The patient is exhibiting signs of hypernatremia and dehydration. The most appropriate nursing intervention is to measure and record intake and output and daily weight. Question 36. Disease of which of the following structures is most likely to affect electrolyte reabsorption? A. Glomerulus. B. Renal tubules. C. Bladder. D. Renal pelvis. Answer. B. Renal tubules. The renal tubules are the site of electrolyte reabsorption. The glomerulus is the site of electrolyte filtration. The bladder is where the urine is stored. The renal pelvis is where urine travels as it moves from the collecting ducts to the ureter. Question 37, Analyza is diagnosed with hypermansemia. Symptoms of her condition may include A. Hypertension B. Tachycardia. C. Hyperactive deep tendon reflex. D. Cardiac arrhythmias. Answer. D. Cardiac arrhythmias. Cardiac arrhythmias are associated with hypermansemia. Hypertension, tachycardia, and hyperactive reflexes are signs of hypomansemia. Question 38. Daniel who is a marathon runner is at high risk for fluid volume deficit. Which one of the following is a related factor? A. Decreased diuresis. B. Disease-related process. C. Decreased breathing and perspiration. D. Increased breathing and perspiration. Answer, D. Increased breathing and perspiration. Excessive fluid can be lost if breathing and perspiration are at an increased rate for a prolonged period. Question 39, Jordan is diagnosed with FVD. Which of the following nursing diagnoses might apply to his condition? A. Altered urinary elimination. B. Decreased cardiac output. C. Increased cardiac output. D. Vomiting. Answer. B. Decreased cardiac output. Decreased cardiac output is a nursing diagnosis associated with isotonic FVD.
Other appropriate nursing diagnoses include altered tissue perfusion, potential for injury, and ineffective breathing pattern. Question 40. Body fluids perform which of the following functions? A. Transport nutrients. B. Transport electrical charges. C. Cushion the organs. D. Facilitate fat metabolism. Answer. A. Transport nutrients. Body fluids facilitate the transport of nutrients, hormones, proteins, and other molecules. Question 41. Sodium levels are affected by the secretion of which of the following hormones? A. Progesterone and aldosterone. B. ADH and ACTH. C. Antidiuretic hormone and FSH. D. ACF and aldosterone. Answer, B. ADH and ACTH. The endocrine system secretes aldosterone and ADH to help regulate sodium levels. The pituitary secretes adrenocorticotropin hormone to help regulate sodium. A and C are reproductive hormones. ACF is not a hormone. Question 42. Bicarbonate is lost during which of the following clinical conditions? A. Diarrhea. B. Diuresis. C. Diaphoresis. D. Vomiting. Answer. A. Diarrhea. Bicarbonate is lost in diarrhea because the lower intestinal tract contains fluids rich in bicarbonate. Question 43. Magnesium reabsorption is controlled by A. Loop of Hanel B. Glomerulus C. Pituitary D. Parathyroid hormone Answer A. Loop of Hanel The loop of Hanel is responsible for magnesium reabsorption. Question 44. Heidi has a nursing diagnosis of fluid volume deficit. Which one of the following medications could potentially exacerbate the problem? A. Synthroid. B. Digoxin. C. Lozix. D. Insulin. Answer, C. Lozix. Lozix will contribute to fluid loss through its action as a diuretic. Question 45. Alexander has hypotonic FVE. Which of the following findings would the nurse expect to assess in the patient? A. Poor skin turgor and increased thirst. B. Weight gain and thirst. C. Interstitial edema and hypertension. D. Hypotension and pitting edema. Answer. B. Weight gain and thirst. Weight gain and thirst are symptoms of hypotonic FVE. Other symptoms include excretion of dilute urine, non-pitting edema, dysrhythmias, and hyponatremia. Question 46. The interstitial space holds approximately how many liters? A. 3 liters. B. 6 liters. C. 9 liters. D. 12 liters. Answer. C. 9 liters. The interstitial space holds 9 liters. Question 47. Sodium balance is important for which of the following functions? A. Transmitting impulses in nerve and muscle fibers via the calcium-potassium pump. B. 
exchanging for magnesium and attracting chloride. C. Combining with hydrogen and chloride for acid-base balance. D. Exchanging for potassium and attracting chloride. Answer, D. Exchanging for potassium and attracting chloride. Sodium influences the levels of potassium and chloride by exchanging for potassium and attracting chloride. Question 48. In renal regulation of water balance, the functions of angiotensin 2 include A. Blood clotting within the nephron. B. Increasing progesterone secretion into the renal tubules. C. Catalyzing calcium-rich nutrients. D. Selectively constricting portions of the arteriole and the nephron. Answer, D. Selectively constricting portions of the arteriole and the nephron. As part of the renal regulation of water balance, angiotensin II selectively constricts portions of the arteriole and the nephron. Question 49. Which of the following nursing diagnoses might apply to a patient with hypertonic FVE? A. An effect of airway clearance. B. Potential for decreased cardiac output. C. An effective breathing pattern. D. Potential for increased cardiac output. Answer, B. Potential for decreased cardiac output. Potential for decreased cardiac output is a nursing diagnosis associated with hypertonic FVE. Question 50. The intracellular compartment holds water and A. Proteins B. Glucose C. Sodium D. Urecast Answer, A. Proteins. The intracellular compartment holds large amounts of water and proteins. Potassium, lipids, and nucleic acids are also components of the intracellular compartment. Question 51. The majority gastrointestinal reabsorption of water occurs in A. Small intestines B. The esophagus C. The colon D. The stomach. Answer. A. Small intestines. Approximately 85% to 95% of water absorption takes place in the small intestine. The colon absorbs only 500 to 100 cc. Question 52. Isotonic FVD can result from A. GI fluid loss through diarrhea. B. Insensible water loss during prolonged fever. C. Inadequate ingestion of fluids and electrolytes. D. Impaired thirst regulation. Answer. C. Inadequate ingestion of fluids and electrolytes. Isotonic FVD may result from inadequate intake of fluids and electrolytes that can occur secondary to an inability to ingest orally. GI fluid loss through diarrhea is an etiology of hypotonic FVD. Insensible water loss during prolonged fever is a cause of hypertonic FVD. Impaired thirst regulation is a cause of hypertonic FVD. Question 53. The majority of the body's water is contained in which of the following fluid compartments? A. Intracellular. B. Interstitial. C. Intravascular. D. Extracellular. Answer. A. Intracellular. 
the intracellular compartment holds two-thirds of total body water. The extracellular compartment is the interstitial space plus the intravascular space. The extracellular compartment accounts for one-third of total body water. Question 54. Etiologies associated with hypomanemia include A. Decreased vitamin D intake B. Constipation C. Malabsorption syndrome D. Renal failure Answer, C. Malabsorption syndrome Malabsorption syndrome is associated with hypomancemia. Increased vitamin D intake and diarrhea are also associated with hypomancemia. Question 55. The danger of fluid sequestered in the third space is that the fluid A. Is hypertonic and can cause hypervolemia. B. Is hypotonic and can cause water intoxication. C. Is not available for circulation. D. Contains large amounts of acids. Answer, C. Is not available for circulation. In third spacing, fluid is sequestered and is unavailable to the general circulation. Question 56. The extracellular fluid space holds water, electrolytes, proteins and A. Red blood cells B. Potassium C. Lipids D. Nucleic acids Answer, A. Red blood cells the extracellular space contains red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets in addition to water, electrolytes, and proteins. Potassium, lipids, and nucleic acids are intracellular components. Question 57. Magnesium performs all of the following functions except A. Contributing to vasoconstriction B. Assisting in cardiac muscle contraction. C. Facilitating sodium transport. D. Assisting in protein metabolism. Answer. A. Contributing to vessel constriction. Magnesium contributes to vasodilation, not vessel constriction. Question 58. Which of the following clinical conditions exacerbates electrolyte excretion? A. Nasogastric feedings. B. Use of surgical drains. C. Immobility from fractures. D. Chronic water drinking. Answer. B. Use of surgical drains. Surgical drains will cause a fluid loss, and electrolytes are eliminated along with the fluid. Question 59. A diet containing the minimum daily sodium requirement for an adult would be A. A no salt diet. B. A diet including 2 grams sodium. C. A diet including 4 grams sodium. D. A 1,500 calorie weight loss diet. Answer, B. A diet including 2 grams sodium. The minimum sodium requirement for adults is 2 grams daily. Most adults consume more than this because sodium is abundant in almost all foods. Question 60. Which of the following electrolytes are lost as a result of the vomiting? A. Bicarbonate and calcium. B. Sodium and hydrogen. C. Sodium and potassium. D. Hydrogen and potassium.
Answer, D. Hydrogen and Potassium In upper gastrointestinal fluid loss, hydrogen and potassium are lost because these electrolytes are present in abundance in the stomach. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like and share.